I went to uh, Afghanistan about uh, uh, the middle of September. I was there uh, to participate in an Afghan agriculture extension project, which is a USAID project um, that is done in cooperation with UC Davis, uh, Washington State University, Purdue University, uh, Maryland uh, State University, and uh, Texas A&M uh, Borlaug Institute. Purpose for going there was to assist them in training their county agents in sheep production and uh, analysis of uh, information they're getting off of their provincial model farms. They have a lot of issues. One of the biggest ones is uh, Afghanistan has as many people as the state of Texas. It's about the same size as the state of Texas, uh, but they have very limited uh, amounts of land to grow uh, product to to grow uh, food and fiber on. The areas that I was actually in were in the valleys where it was irrigated, and that like countries you know can be quite productive. Uh, their technologies are fairly limited. The irrigation is all flood irrigation, um, and, but they do seem to have uh, quite a bit of water. Uh, as far as livestock production, it was primarily fat tail sheep uh, and caracal sheep uh, that are raised both for lamb, you know, meat production. Their issues were not that much different than many of our producers face, um, getting a good lamb crop. I think marketing may be a bigger problem. They don't have the established type of markets that we have. The research I saw uh, was primarily on uh, evaluating improved forage variety. Apparently they don't have a culture of putting up hay uh, or they can, there are places to buy grain supplements and stuff, but they typically don't put up hay. And so there's work, work being done to uh, uh, either bale hay manually this wasn't done with tractors, it was hand harvesting and putting in a uh, manual uh, compressor um, and also uh, making silage in uh, barrels. The purpose of the project was actually to train their extension agents to do what our extension agents do and provide information and technology to their farmers. And uh, so hopefully uh, that they can increase their level of productivity and become more self-sufficient in their food and fiber production.